This data sufficiency question gives us a symbol, a new symbol, and it says this symbol means addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. We don't know which one, but it's one of those four. So we need to narrow it down from four different options to just one. We're going to do that right now. So statement one tells us that if r equals s, then that symbol between r and s would make it zero. So what could that symbol be? Could it be addition? Well, if r equals s and we're adding them together, that should be 2r or 2s. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily be zero. Uh, in fact, it couldn't possibly be zero because we were told that r and s are both positive numbers. So adding two positive numbers is never going to be zero. So it can't be addition, eliminate that option. How about subtraction? Uh, if r equals s, r minus s, yeah, that would be zero. So it could be subtraction. Uh, now I'm not done yet because there's two more operations, multiplication and division. I need to make sure that those are not possible given statement one. Uh, and then I can say statement one is sufficient on its own. So let's see, r equals s and their product is zero keeping in mind their positive numbers. So the product of two positive numbers, yeah, that would never be zero. How about division? If r equals s and they're both positive, dividing one by the other would give us one. So that's not possible either. So this is great. So statement one on its own does narrow down the possibilities to only subtraction. So statement one is sufficient on its own. Now I think statement two is a bit more interesting. It's saying that if r and s are different positive numbers, then the order of applying that operation matters. Right? They're saying R operation S is not going to be the same as S operation R. So uh, the order matters. Now we know that in addition, the order doesn't matter. And in multiplication, the order doesn't matter. But in subtraction and division, the order does matter. Uh, again, this is uh, under the uh, condition that R and S are different numbers, which this statement does state. So since statement two is telling us that the order does matter, uh, this operation can't possibly be addition or multiplication, but it still might be either subtraction or division, and there's no way for us to tell which of those two options it is. So statement two is not sufficient on its own. So the correct answer here is A. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time.